Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keptech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday and today I want to go over interview tricks and tips. Obviously if you're new to my channel, do IT videos and stuff, support videos all about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you know when I go live. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, so today I want to go over interview tips and tricks, questions or things you need to ask if you're going to a job interview, if you're interviewing someone. It's not just like I tell people when you in, when you go into a job interview, you want to see if you fit well with the company, and if they if and if they fit well with you, if that makes sense. So it's like kind of like dating kind of deal. So you need to, you need to know if you fit well with them and if they fit well with you. So these are questions I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that you could ask in hiring manager if that makes sense. Also, I'm gonna give you tips and tricks. Like by that I mean like like what you should be doing when you go to the actual job interview before going to the actual job interview, things like that. So, let's get started, this should, should be a short video. Um, and if you guys don't know, I have 32 videos, I think 33 now, on interview questions that you might be asking a job interview. So you might wanna check that playlist out below, a little below in the description of this video, and you can go ahead and check that out. That might help you get land a job in IT. I've seen people get jobs in Google, see people get jobs in Amazon, and a few other places using my interview videos. So you should go, you go ahead and check that out when you, have a, when you have a chance. It should help you out, hopefully, okay? So, um, I put here research. Why did I put research? Research is very important in IT. Why? You get asked that a lot in a company, by the way. They ask you, tell, can you tell us about your company? Can you tell us about our company and what we do and what we specialize in? So like the company might be about trading stocks and bonds or something like that. It might be a company about insurance. So you wanna do research about the company before you actually go to the job interview. So this is why I tell people, go online, Check Glassdoor, check the reviews, check about what the company does, check their website. Those little things are very important because when you do that, right, when you do that, the hiring manager is like, okay, this person actually sat down, researched our company, and found out what we do before they came in here for a job interview. They didn't just randomly just show up here and not ask questions about the company. So when you do that, it shows that you, you are engaging with the manager and it shows that you are interested in that company in that position, if that makes sense. So you want to research the company. That's very, very important. Um, another one, right? Ask questions. There's a lot of questions I'm going to give you right now. These are some questions you have. Ask questions with them. They ask you interview questions. Ask them questions about what they, what they do, what they have, what they specialize in, and stuff like that. But these are questions that you could ask that it's gonna make you stand out if that makes sense. So question number one, what do you expect of me in 30 days? That's a really good question. Why is that an important question? Because you don't know what you're walking into. You may, you may be taking a job position that just recently opened. You may be taking a job position that someone else got promoted and now they have this position open because of you. You may be taking this job position because someone just got let go. So what are you, what are you expecting of me as a new IT person to do help desk in this job position in the next 30 days? What do you expect of me? Should I know everything? Am I gonna get training? Like look, things like that, right? There's a, this is the reason why you ask this type of question. It allows you to, it allows you to engage with them and then they engage with you, if that makes sense. That's question number one. This is what you should be asking. Question number two. Can I do self-study like certifications or certs? That is a very good question to ask a manager. Why is that important? Because you're basically telling the manager that you're not only gonna do your job, but you're, inter you're interested in learning and growing within the company. So that's why that's very important. So basically you're saying, I wanna actually do certifications. I actually wanna learn. I actually wanna grow in the company. I actually wanna do A+, Network+, Plus, CCNA, Microsoft. I actually wanna take the time to make myself a better tech. So when you do when you when you ask a question like that, you're basically saying that you want to self-learn and be better in the company for the company. So that basically makes you stand out. If that makes sense. Um, there's another question. I ran. This is a very tricky question. It's like very. It's more towards the manager, right? You say, "Why do you like working here?" So when you ask the manager that question. You get to hear their side of the story as to why they like being in the company and what they have to offer and what he, he sees in the day to the life of his, of his job, if that makes sense. So asking a question like that is like, wow, I wasn't expecting you to ask me questions about me and why I like working here. That's a really good question to ask. Um, some managers like that question. Some managers do not like that question. It depends on the manager. So if you see like that manager seems like a, a, an okay person that you're getting along with them, you wanna ask that question. It's a really important question to ask. 
because then you get to see what a typical day of the life is of being a manager or why they like working in that company with people. If that makes sense. All right. Um, next question. What's a regular day for me in this position? So what is a regular day for me? Like what, 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 what am I, I know it's, it's almost similar to the one for 30 days, right? This is what you expect of me, right? For 30 days. This is different. This is like, what's a regular day? So, so you say something like, what's a typical day for me if I were to start Monday morning? What, what am I going to be doing? That's a question you'll be asking. Another question would be, I, I didn't write it here, is, is um, am I going to get training there are someone is someone going to train me in this position or am I be or am I going to be expected to know everything when I first start Monday morning you know, questions like that so this is very important to ask because then you find out what you have to do what you actually have to do in your job if you were to start Monday morning if that makes sense so that's a good question to ask um, and then that's it there's no more questions like um, you could ask other questions you like typically I tell people ask two to three questions no more than that. You don't want to ask too many questions because that really it kind of bothers some managers. So two to keep it at a minimum. Two to three is good enough. You don't have to ask more than that. And then you can just mix it up over here. If you want to ask other questions, you can. If they're, they're doing like two or three, four interviews, then yeah, you could go ahead and ask different questions. But obviously, if it's just a phone interview and then an actual interview with the actual manager and it's just one interview after that, then you want to ask these questions if that makes sense. Okay? Um, and then after that, is very important right over here send a thank you email so a lot of people don't do that so you want to send a thank you email tell them oh thank you for taking the time to interview me I really value I, I really appreciate that you took the time to interview me as a candidate for this position X Y and Z you know you send him a thank you email that's very important nobody does that like a lot of people don't do that in IT you want to send them a thank you email because they actually took the time to interview you from their day, if that makes sense. So that's really important. Um, then the last one I put, I put a star next to it. Engage with the manager. Just you know, just talk with the manager. Every IT, every every interview that you go to, you want to make sure you engage with them and you give them like an actual, an actual real life scenario type thing. Whether it's restaurant, retail, or your lab that you're doing that you had a weird IT issue and you managed to fix it, you could talk about that. Talk about your stories. Talk about what you did in your actual lab environment. Talk about things you have done in the past and related to that IT job. If you do that, if you engage with the manager, you know, basically what, what I mean when I say that, I mean that you're actually talking, they're talking, you're talking, they're talking. It's not just them talking the entire time. A manager does not like that, by the way. A manager likes to see someone in the same room as them engaging with them and talking with them. That way, when you do that, like, okay, we can hire this person. This person is actually approachable. They're super honest. They're nice. They're friendly. They're courteous. They have empathy. They're able to engage with me. They're able to talk to me. A lot of it has to do with people skills. A lot of it has to do with marketing skills and how you market yourself, how you talk. A lot of it has to do with, with, with not giving the same boring answer. What is DNS, domain name server? Uh, what's IPv4 or oh, IP address 10.1? You don't, you don't want to give answers like that. Make yourself stand out. That's why I tell people engage with the manager. Make yourself stand out. And me, I have gone to interview recently actually for a sysadmin role. And that definitely has helped me in just engaging with someone. It makes you stand out. I'm telling you right now, it makes you stand out. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I hope this helps you off your brand new IT. These are questions I will literally ask anyone that's a help desk manager or IT manager or someone that's interviewing me. All right? And I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Peace. Bye.